but she'll look at me and she goes, Mommy, did you know that I love you? And those moments, like, they're unsolicited. And it's so sweet because you know who does that to her? Daddy! Yeah, Daddy. Good morning! Leah's OOTD. She chose this sweater suit again because it's so awesome. Yeah, and every day she goes to school, she has to have pigtails and two bows, but the colors have to match her clothes. I kid you not, I buy hair ties and then they disappear. Well, you know what? Some of them might be in the drawer upstairs. I tell I have not time until the girls. Oh, the yeah, she puts it in the drawer. I only use the hair tie. I have to have the I like the small, like the medium sized ones that have a good stretch. What? The black ones? Those are my favorite. Yeah, I guess so. phone she said she oh, wanted oh, phone. Um, so when you're 14 years. in 10 years I will remember that yeah. okay in sounds good we just got our bathroom fixed and the bathtub regrouted I need to catch you guys up to speed because it's been kind of crazy so several weeks ago I was cleaning downstairs oh the day that we got back from California and you know I bought all those lush bath bombs the kids took a bath with the bombs that night or the following night and it's kind of a blessing in disguise that they did otherwise we would have we wouldn't have realized the damage that was going on underneath the bathroom or underneath the toilet I was cleaning the table downstairs and then all of a sudden water starts leaking from our chandelier imagine how scary that is it was just leaking from up there and then it was dripping on the table so you know there's different bath bombs there's like a rainbow bath bomb kira had the peach one and i put a bowl underneath where the drip was and i was able to see which bathroom it was coming out of because it was like the peach scented bath bomb a few days ago we had a handyman come in and check it out he did an amazing job with the grout work in our bathroom and he like it just it just looks nice and clean and then in the girls room he did that today and I guess it was really bad a lot worse than we had expected we had our bathrooms remodeled many years ago this was back when GMK were toddlers so imagine how long ago this was the contractors that we had last time they were kind of rushing and they did not do a good job hi I'm the GB hi do you want the grass is super wet? Put it in you the guys laundry. You can't use the bathroom till tomorrow. So you have to use mommy's bathroom or the downstairs bathroom because. What's wrong with our bathroom? No, they finally fixed it. Now, that ultimately shouldn't have happened because there should have been a seal. No. But between the rocking and people <laughs> climbing on the toilet and them not having this under. By the way, as a kid, I remember too splashing yeah. and not understanding how damaging water can be. Yeah. Anyways, it's a blessing in disguise that we caught it before it was like severe damage. But we still have to get it looked at by um, a plumber because this guy that helped us was he was more of a handyman. And that's one of the things that we haven't had looked at in almost 10 years or when was the last remodel? I think it was at least seven years. It was a long time ago. The girls were little. Anywho, I found Belgium dirty chocolate pocky. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the Trader Joe's. By the way, the Trader Joe's pocky, I think is even better because it's like thicker and they have more chocolate. That's good. No, I just smelled a very, very stinky stop sock. And what's more funny, <laughs> what's hilarious about it is that it was a little sock. This has been a topic in the past, but you know when you're doing your laundry and you're transferring the clothes from the washer to the dryer, sometimes clothes fall. So you pick it up and then you just sniff it a little bit just to double check, is this clean or is it dirty? Which one is it? So I stopped doing that with Benji's socks because 90% of the time they were dirty. So I just, I just stopped smelling it. 
I saw this cute little sock on the floor <laughs> and I gave it a little sniff. Oh my gosh, it stinks just as bad. So, just like, which reminds me of that meme. Like, you know, it's cute to smell kids' feet up until a certain age and then it's like, it's kind of sad. It makes you sad because it makes you realize that they're growing. Okay. Yes! Oh my. Okay, it's back from night. This is a like rainbow galaxy one. Let's put this out of the way. It's a it's a rainbow one. Wow. It's cotton candy. Oh, it smells so good. Cotton candy rainbow. These bath bombs are a vibe. It just makes it so fun. Now now's a great time to answer a question from the Q and A. Okay. It's fine. How do you view your twenties versus your thirties? What's better? Is it true it gets better with age? So different. Uh, a huge part of it is having a family and then it growing exponentially in my 30s. <laughs> a lot of my, I guess, the excitement shifted from friends and partying or clubbing shifted to like family excitement, like birthdays and chaos and the sentimental loving moment. It's just so different. I feel like I can't even compare. Would you like a double? Double, please? Okay. Where's that double? It's right there, silly. A lot of parents can relate. Bella, why? Why? Just keep to yourself. No. A, a big difference is that it's not about me anymore. <laughs> It's about our kids and our family. There's not so much an age thing, it's just like a transition and yeah. life thing. Sometimes I think what would it be like if we didn't have kids. Some of the times I feel FOMO, but I also know that this is just a season and I talk about seasons. It is stressful whether you have one or two. Um, we can have five. But like the love and the kindness that these kids have and they share with Benji and I is totally worth it. So, you know, you invest in these kind of moments and then they hopefully will return the favor when they're older and take care of us. You know what Leah says to me almost every day? Huh? Halloween. Halloween? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we talk about Halloween literally every day. <gasps> ooh, ooh, girl, do not sit on there. She'll look at me and she goes, Mommy, did you know that I love you? And those moments, like, they're unsolicited and it's so sweet because you know who does that to her? Daddy! Yeah, Daddy. Hey, see, this is what, you guys cannot waste the soap like that. I don't even know what the question was. Some moments, I want to pull my hair out and I scream. I want to scream and I do scream. I guess, long story short, my 30s, it's very different than my 20s. But I don't, I don't regret it. I don't wish I went back in time. Anyways, thanks for your question. Good evening. Hey honey, I just, blow dry my hair. Oh. I'm just excited. It's been a minute since I've done it. Oh, so really? I don't have to do anything to it the next you know couple days. You're wearing a gray nighty, but in the uh in the lens or in the screen it looked blue because of your computer. Oh weird. Well you're mm -hmm. wrong because it's actually tan. Or it's more like neutral. It's like a heathered neutral color. It looks tan now. Yeah. Is it recording? It is. <laughs> the camera's like upside down because the, the thingy is loose. Our room is just full of clothes and laundry. 
and I ain't even gonna worry about it today, so. There was no toilet paper at Costco. Oh my gosh. Is, is it happening again? So actually, I didn't know that was a thing already. And maybe I'm spreading the kind of like propaganda, mm. which I don't mean to. Well, hey, let's- Y'all don't freak out. Let's make it right. Because when I was exiting Costco, and they were checking to make sure that I wasn't double charged on my- Sorry, can I intervene on that? Okay. Okay, let me intervene. So you know when you go to Costco and you check out, and the person at the door is like checking the receipt to make sure and then they go like this I always saw it as okay they're checking your receipt to make sure that you paid for everything like there's not a box of diapers underneath that you should have paid for that's how I've always viewed it until one time Benji is like oh remember when I told you there was this lady that like she takes a long time checking. A long um, time. We're talking. I think I was like 46 seconds, like maybe 60 seconds. That was long. She she just takes a long time. And she looked thorough. Very sometimes thorough. Sometimes you're like kind of rolling your eyes because you want to get out of there. I never roll my eyes. Never. Well, internal. I, looked, I would. I just looked at her for an awkwardly long amount of time. Yeah. So she found a mess up. Um, I think he was double charged for something and she's like, oh, um, you were accidentally charged for this. So then Benji was able to get his money back and I'm like, oh, that's so nice. Like she Tomato basil that. soup. It was tomato basil <laughs> soup. They charged me twice. I only ordered one tomato basil soup, which is actually two tomato basil soups that come in one package, but they charged me for two packages. So she saved me from overspending $9. And there you go. Isn't that funny? Like what we always perceived first is what the truth is or what they're really doing anyway sorry go on with your story okay so the toilet I was, paper i was um going to costco the thing that judy insisted i get even though i told her we had a whole package i thought we were out in the garage with toilet paper i was like okay oh well, if we need toilet paper let me go get toilet paper i went there and i was looking for it I was surprised because I couldn't find it and I thought, you yeah, know, there's no way they ran out of toilet paper. So I went to the end of the aisle because all Costco shoppers know if you can't find something, it's probably at the end of the aisle the on end display caps? and on sale. So I was excited. Oh, okay. Then I couldn't find it. I thought, you know, I should, excited. I should ask an employee. Maybe they moved it somewhere else. Or maybe the toilet got some paper somewhere. would never get moved. It makes sense. It's on all the way at the back. There's yeah, no you're massive. right. You're right. I've never but, seen it moved. Yeah. So I was like, that's strange. I did see a whole section gone. And by the way, on that note, guess what was gone? Paper towels. Oh, it was well, the towels. next best thing. Okay. Come on. Yeah, I didn't think about that. But <laughs> FYI, you should never flush paper towels on the toilet. Oh, no, no. I'm just saying to wipe your ass. And then what you put in the trash. I mean, if they're that desperate. Oh my gosh. See, this is why Filipinos are smart. <laughs> okay, wait. Here she's what did a you just say? Oh yeah, towel. Here she's yeah, okay. a towel. I thought you were saying Filipinos use paper towels. I'm like. Mm. No, no. Okay, you're right. Towel. That's a whole nother discussion because I don't know where else they do that. You said towel like Taibo. Towel. Okay. okay. Okay, so then I continue my Costco shopping, and guess what? I didn't find toilet paper. But I didn't think anything of it. I thought, you know, what's the big deal? We'll get it another day or some other time. Mm -hmm. Well, as I'm exiting the store, the guy asked me, hey, so did you find everything you needed? How's your night going? Literally Sorry, guys. Benji was talking so much that <laughs> he ran out of film. Okay, sorry, honey. What happened? Go ahead. So I'm standing there with a the guy. Mm -hmm. He's making a conversation, asking me, how's my night going? Mm -hmm. And did I find everything I need? By the way, it was 8.30. Oh my gosh, right when they right? closed. I was one of the last people. Oh, I said, you know, I love shopping here. I've never shopped right when it was closing. It was really peaceful. I was like, yeah, <laughs> this is a good time to be shopping. I said, but you know, I didn't find toilet paper, which I thought was kind of strange because you guys always have toilet paper. He goes, oh yeah, people are panic buying again. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, yeah, toilet paper was gone by noon. And I thought, oh wow. He said, oh yeah, gosh. people are freaking out because of the protests happening or the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? 
uh, union? The, huh? The union? What do you call it? The strike. You know that was a thing. Like in 2020, there was going to be a supply shortage of things because the people that load and unload the containers weren't going to be doing their job and ships would be out at sea with the toilet paper. So he said that was the first thing to go today. I said, oh wow, that explains everything. I just walked away. There you go guys, that was the story about the toilet paper in Costco. When he first mentioned it, it kind of freaked me out and gave me the chills because it was like a deja vu of when the pandemic started and what? that's like that freaking, can you imagine that? I'm sorry, that's okay. like, that is traumatic, okay, I can't. Honey, but I cannot. you didn't explain what happened when you went in the garage. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, oh that's socks because we're out of toilet paper we literally have um one more roll in our bathroom zero rolls in the girls bathroom and two rolls downstairs it's funny how i know as benji's leaving i'm like honey get toilet paper he tells me this story and i'm not gonna no, lie no, no. i didn't tell you a story no you well you told me you said yeah there's a i guess what i didn't get and i said no no no, no 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 hey let's back it up okay as I'm leaving and you requested toilet paper, I said, we have toilet paper in oh, the garage. Oh, okay. And I said, mm -hmm. and I said, I don't think so. Anyways, so and then I when he came back. Because you, you were so sure about it. When he came back and he told me about the toilet paper, I was like, my heart kind of sunk. And it's like, obviously, first world problems. Still, I was like, dang it, that sucks. And then I walk into the garage. Why did I go there? I think I was putting something away and I go, oh, I saw it in the corner of the garage and it was like, oh, and uh, did you remember what I told you? I, you said I told you. You literally said I told you. So. Anyway, so that happened. Damn. Okay. Anyway, you guys don't freak out. There's toilet paper. I'm just saying that because I have my, oh, by the way, my giant Costco size by the of toilet way, paper. I didn't tell you this part of the story. This is the most There's important more? part. The Costco guy said they're not going to run out of toilet paper because the <laughs> supply shortage isn't going to affect them. So He's saying that so you don't spread fake news. <laughs> well, I believe that guy. He looked really honest and he was very confident. I and, bet. Yeah. You know, if anything, I bet Costco's like, hey, you can't freak out the customers. You need to tell them everything's going to be okay. Because then word spreads like wildfire. No, I think he literally knows that I think Costco, he was doing his job, honey. No, honey, Costco makes their own toilet paper, and I think they make it in the United States. Oh, man, I hope so. I hope so. We're going to call it a night here, and we'll see you guys in a couple days. Night-night.